With respect, sir, these stories contain mention of ghosts. Yes. And demons and witches. Yes, yes, all of it true. And they're written in verse. It's good old-fashioned seasonal entertainment. Are you calling me a liar? Ah, uh, certainly not. With heaps of rumbustuousness, well, recitation uh, and right, storytelling, it focuses on the popular Ingoldsby legends, Victorian scary stories written in the age of Dickens. They were printed in various magazines and publications and then they were collected together in 1840. It was a huge hit. And uh, they sold around the world and, and, and for many, many years it was a standard classic. Lots of the ghosty, ghouly tales feature places in Kent, known to their author, the Reverend Richard Harris Barham. He wrote under the pen name of Thomas Ingoldsby. In this performance, the real and the fictional author do battle on stage. Every single one of it as I'm standing here. Just a sort of rollicking good time, really, I think. It's, um, I mean, we're doing this at Christmas because it, it's kind of, it's grisly and, and a bit morbid and a bit frightening really which is what you want at Christmas but nearer and nearer exciseman Gil cries it's not all frightening there's a lot of what you might call literary pantomime going on they draw on local legends of Thanet and, and Kent and Sussex borders and things like that and uh, so there are elements of them that are, are taken from folklore you could sense that the Reverend is, is living out all the things he, he, he really wants to do but can't in in sort of legend form and oh he exclaimed I'll let them go catch my skiff. I'll be home in a twinkling and back in a jiff. Sunday night's performance at the Rialto Theatre is designed to be a preview. The plan is to take the show on tour across Kent and Sussex next year, bringing the good reverend's tales back to the places which inspired them. Oh, come on, can we leave something to the imagination, please? Goodness sake. Robin Gibson, BBC South East Today, Brighton. To a sparkling guitar with silver cords stretched over Derbyshire's bar.